Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Siriana Tarot. This is going to be a reading for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. This is a general career and finance reading for January 2020. So while I'm doing this reading, I'm just going to ask that you guys give this video a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, comment and share if and only if that's something that you like to do. And also remember to hit that notification bell if you guys want to get updates when I upload anything new. Excuse me. All right, so Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. What messages do we have for Aquarius? General career and finance, January 2020. So let's go ahead and ask spirit, angels, ancestors, loved ones who have passed, and spirit guides. What messages do you have for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs? General career and finance, January 2020. Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. General career and finance, January 2020. Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. General career and finance, January 2020. So, there, so for some of you guys know that I rescue animals and I'm down in the Caribbean. I'm with my pack. We're a pretty big pack, 21 plus animals. All of them come from the streets or from really nasty abusive situations and I've been there's a little kitten probably about four months old who has been like really sick and kind of hanging around and I um you know just yesterday I haven't seen him all day the day before yesterday he let me pick him up hold him feed him you know and then I gave him some um they gave him some medicine and dewormed him and that sort of thing and I hadn't seen him and I was worried you know maybe Sometimes when you start to treat animals who are really sick, it can it can go really well or it can go really poorly. And uh, just as I started your reading, you guys, I see him and he looks amazing. He's up on my fence and he looks calm. He looks like a little bit, he just looks like a normal kitten again. Oh, so as soon as this reading is over, you guys, I'm going to... Um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and go see see if he comes down and lets me give him some more food, some milk and some kibbles and stuff. All right. So anyway, Aquarius. So I think that's a good sign. I feel like, you know, it just made me feel really happy. Like, wow, the good that you guys are doing, you know, is really going to, it's going to really pay off and help others. So let's go ahead and see if this reading speaks to that. All right. So we have the justice card. We have the two of wands. We have the Wheel of Fortune. All right, two of Pentacles. Whoa, all right, you guys, you have three twos already on the deck. Okay. Yes, I knew that there's some sort of love here. Something that you guys are really passionate, really heartfelt about, the magician. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look here. The overall energy here is the Four of Cups. The Four of Cups is being really disappointed because I feel like you guys missed an opportunity or you feel like you missed an opportunity of some kind. It might be with a cancer person. Again, this is a career and finance reading, so you know it doesn't necessarily, you know, when I say cancer person, you know, it could be somebody that was offering you a job or maybe, you know, some sort of business partnership or something like that. But it, I think it was a real chance for you to change and move, you know, move forward and feel like you could change your life and move ahead, you know, with your career and your finances. The Page of Pentacles shows me, you know, this was starting something new. It was something that was really, really prosperous. And the way that you guys saw that was some sort of, as wish fulfillment, okay, and moving out of some sort of disappointment and sadness. But I feel like you feel, Aquarius, that you've missed this opportunity, okay? I don't think you have, though, all right? I don't think you have. Now, if we take a look at your overall energy, this is the Justice card in reverse. This is Libra energy. You might be exhibiting these qualities or you might just have this heavy in your chart. But the Justice card in reverse is telling me that you feel like things are really unfair. I think you feel like you missed this certain opportunity because you know, um, because of someone or something or something in your life. And you're just feeling like this is not fair. I can't believe this happened. Okay. But in your surroundings, okay. I've got this, you know, this planning, 
There's also, as, as you're feeling this sort of depression or feeling like a little bit victimized, Aquarius, you know, and trying to take a look at what are your options and where you can go from here, you know, Spirit is really saying that you have, you know, I, I'm seeing the Eight of Swords energy in my mind that it's actually, you know, you haven't missed this opportunity completely. There is some way to sort of recover and you have the ability to make the choice, okay, to get back on track. And that, you know, the universe and your surroundings or there are people in your surroundings that are really, really helping you, you know, that can help you move forward. Now, for some of you, I do feel like you're, you feel in a little bit walled in by your surroundings because again, he's in this mansion. Um, you know, I think you guys have been successful, you know, even if you haven't, you feel like your home or your environment is holding you back from going, excuse me, from going after you know, the world or whatever he's seeing in this world card. And he's, he's like really contemplating it. So again, I'm feeling like some of you might feel like your, your family is holding you back. Some of you might have some financial obligations, like with a mortgage or something like that, that you feel like is holding you back. And you really kind of want to travel. You want to go, you want to move, but you're feeling like you can't, or you're going to miss this blessing, or you have missed this blessing because of your obligations. Okay. And what's holding you back here, what's, you know, what's blocking you is the wheel of fortune. And this is interesting, interesting to be holding you back. I feel like, um, you know, the wheel of fortune is a karma card, but it's all about changes and spirit saying, look, you've got to be able to deal with the changes. Well, not everything is going to go your way. And there's a reason for that. Okay. Either, you know, either you're stuck in this position or you feel stuck you know, because maybe, or things aren't moving in your favor, because there's a lot that you guys have, you know, you might have set your intentions or be working with law of attraction, and you might not be seeing those coming to fruition and spirit saying, but all of this takes time. So as soon as you speak your intentions out loud, or you write them down, know that the universe starts to work in your favor. And there, there's a lot of stuff that needs to be rearranged on your behalf. And it doesn't necessarily happen when, where, and how you want it to. All right, and I do see this wheel of fortune eventually turning in your favor, but it's like spirit says you have to also take like a really sort of pragmatic approach about it. Don't feel, you know, don't feel like, um, you know, that, like you're a victim here, okay? And all, and I'm also getting with this two of wands energy, like spirit saying be grateful for what you have. Once you start focusing on the things that you do have and the gratitude, all of your manifestations, they will come to you. They will happen. Okay, but it will take some time. Now, the two of pentacles in your foundation, this is all about juggling. And I feel like you, you know, you made some sort of decision. All right. And, and this, and I feel like this decision happened in the past and you decided to really go for your heart's desire. Now it could be that you really wanted to marry somebody who was financially stable. It could be that you wanted to join a partnership or business or a job or something that you were extremely, you know, heartfelt you know, something that was, that you are very, very emotionally attached to. And you made this decision to go for it. And you knew that you were sort of juggling two things, two ideas, two people, two ways, right? But you had to let one of them go. And I feel like Aquarius, you're very, very good at that. You're very good at sort of analyzing and saying, guess what? All right, I've got two options. I'm going to go with the one, you know, that I'm most, you know, that I'm most attached to emotionally. And the one that, you know, is going to be the best for me. Now, Spirit is saying at this time in the meditations, in the meditations I was doing before this reading, you know, there will be a real importance at this time of going for making the decisions that are the most logical and the most practical. Remember, we're in Capricorn season. So, you know, you will have success in your professional life if you, you know, or interviews or presentations or whatever it might be, you know, if you choose the things that are the most pragmatic and the most straightforward. And if I feel like maybe you didn't, you kind of went with your, you went with your heart over your mind, or you kind of like rolled the dice to take a chance, see, you know, you're like, all right, I'm just going to close my eyes and I'm going to roll the dice. And it didn't exactly work out in your favor. And that's not the way that you're going to manifest. Okay. Although you are crowned by the ace of cups, which is awesome. This is a huge blessing. All right. I see the four of cups and we've got the ace of cups. Both of these are blessings that are coming your way in January. All right. But spirit says, I don't want you to miss these blessings. And, and I feel like Aquarius, you guys are really working on law of attraction. This Ace of Cups is a new heartfelt beginning. It's something that you deserve. It's something that you've been trying to attract for a really long time. 
But the magician in reverse tells me two things. For some of you, you guys are going to be dealing with someone who isn't being completely honest with you and you're gonna really have to figure out a way around that, okay? Remember that you will be protected from deceit and from your enemies at this time. That was also which came out in my, um, in my meditation for us as well before I started these readings. But so it could be that, you know, just beware of a trickster or a charlatan or somebody who's, you know, blowing smoke up your butt, you know, about something. For others of you, it's like this, you're not going to manifest, again, you're not gonna manifest if you're just taking chances and you're just rolling the dice. So if you were like, all right, I'm in a really bad money situation. All right, I'm in a really bad money situation, so I'm gonna just start playing the lottery. Yes, your chances increase, right? Because if you never play the lottery, you'll never win. But Spirit's saying this isn't the way this works. Okay, the you know law of attraction doesn't work like that. Okay, so law of attraction works like you set your intentions, you know, you raise your vibration, be grateful for what you have, raise that vibration even more, because then you'll start attracting the things and the people, etc., in your life that are going to bring you that abundance. And when I talk about abundance, it's not being a millionaire, it's having enough, to, you know, more than enough to pay your bills, it's having love, it's having energy, it's being happy. Okay, so um, it's sort of an interesting reading, Aquarius. You know, the magician in reverse is like, be very, very, also make sure that you're careful what you wish for. Okay, so additional messages for Aquarius, sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs for general career and finance, January 2020. Additional messages for Aquarius, career and finance, January 2020. Temple path, I love that. One and two adds up to three. Threes are all about expansion. For some of you, it's going to be really important that you're focusing on your spiritual journey. This is one of my favorite cards in the deck, okay? And this is all about, I love this because look at all these orbs surrounding them, that you're on the right path, Aquarius. You're on the right path. You, you know, what's crowning you is this... Um, you know, is the Ace of Cups. What's in your recent past is this Two of Cups. That's powerful love, okay? That's also me, you know, hearing that you are extremely loved and some su extremely supported, not only by people in your surroundings, but also by, you know, in the spiritual realms as well. Ancestors, loved ones who have passed, spirit guides, you know, all of your angels, everybody's like, yeah, we've got you. You know, we've got your back. But just don't get, don't lose sight of what's important and what you really need and what you really want. And don't lose sight of the fact that things aren't going to happen overnight. Stop taking unnecessary risks, okay? Make sure that you're even and balanced, okay? That you know that your heart and your spirit and your soul are all aligned, all right? We'll, let, we'll take care of the things that need to drop away that are no longer serving you so that you can turn this magician upright and so that you can manifest anything and everything that you want. It's kind of like, you know, hang on, Aquarius. Hang in there. We're working for you. There's a little bit of course correction that needs to take place here, but, you know, we're going to bring you victory, okay? So let's go ahead. Additional messages for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs, general career and finance. January 2020. Action. 17. 1 and 7 adds up to 8. 8 is my uh, card of manifestation, rebirth, achievement, you know, changes, this action. I love this because here we have an equal exchange of gifts. We have two people coming together. Some of you might be, you know, this is going to be a business partnership. For some of you, it's going to be like success and love that's going to bring you that sort of bring you, you know, like a more stable environment, financial, you know, portfolio, et cetera, et cetera. But this action, I love this. This is the blending of two opposites, your, you know, your, your shadow side and your light side. And 17 adds up to eight, which is in a card of manifestation. You guys are going to manifest what it is you want, but you're also going to have to give it time. Let the natural cycles, you know, take place. You're also going to have to understand that it's not going to be instant gratification, that it's going to come to you when it's supposed to okay and when you are ready but you will be receiving this huge blessing this is crowning you there's a huge blessing coming your way and we see that with the four of cups as well and spirit's doing everything spirit and everybody in the background is doing everything they can to make sure that you don't miss this blessing okay so additional messages for aquarius sun moon rising and venus signs for general career and finance january 2020 
Okay, we've got the Lady of the Mirror, reflection and non-judgment. 44 adds up to another eight, more manifestations. Okay, just take a look at how far you've come. Take a look at where you're going. Take a look at your actions. Take a look at what it is you actually want because it will be coming to you. Okay, and 44 is a master number. This is really good energy, Aquarius. All right, let's go ahead. Additional messages for Aquarius, sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs. Sisters of the Seasons, I knew it. One and seven. 17 is coming out twice. It might be an important number for you, um, but it also it adds up to eight. Again, my manifestation, abundance number. Cycles of growth, natural law, divine order. Everything is happening in divine timing. I've been talking about this card this whole reading. You know, make sure that you're giving it time if you're working with law of attraction. Okay, remember that not everything is going to happen overnight and really take a look at how law of attraction works. All right, raise your vibration because you're going to you're going to receive what it that you know what it is your things that are vibrating at the same level. And one of you know at when we're coming towards manifesting what it is we want and what it is we need, what happens is there's two things. You have to start being grateful for what it is that you do have. And stop focusing on what it is you don't have, okay? And then you also have to detach yourself from the outcome, the how, the when, the where, the why. Because if you're focused on that or trying to micromanage that, all right, it's not going to come to you, okay? Or it's going to take a lot longer for it to come to you. So really awesome. I love the synchronicity in this reading, Aquarius. It kind of started off as kind of like, I don't know, like, what's going on with you guys. But, you know, th th this is a huge lesson to be learned, Okay, stop. No more self-sabotage because I am getting that there is that you guys are kind of, you guys are sabotaging, you know, the success here. All right, so additional messages for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Additional messages for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Service. I feel good when I can help others. Some of you might have heavy Virgo in your charts, okay, or might be dealing with Virgos. Um, but also know that, you know, like, you know, I think what you're doing, what you're moving towards is, you know, some of you might be empaths, some of you might be healers, or some of you, you know, might be like opening a new restaurant or something like that. This is, you guys are divinely supported and divinely guided on this mission, okay, on this journey. It's just going to take time. You guys are working on law of attraction. Things are going to come in for you, okay, but w with divine timing, relationships. I am attracted to those people who serve my higher good. Yeah, very good. So for some of you, again, you know, this relationship in the past, I feel like you might have met someone that's going to really help you achieve your dreams. And it might be a bit confusing because they might be really different than, you know, what you're used to. Okay, but you, you know, you might be sort of more used to being in these toxic relationships, environments, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, and it can feel a little bit weird when you're not when when you're with somebody who's like genuinely good and wants good for you, you know? And so make sure that you're also being very discerning about the people that you're meeting, you know, because sometimes, you know, if we think about, you know, those for those of us that like bad boys and that sort of thing, you know, like at, at some point, you know, that gets kind of old when you want somebody, you know, who's going to, you know, be this two of cups energy. Not to say that a bad boy can't be your two of cups or can't be your soulmate or can't be your, you know, your other half. But, you know, like bad boys are bad boys for a reason, you know. And when, you know, when you think it's all really cool and all really good, you know, like I've got these friends or my business partner is a real, you know, badass or cartel member, or, you know, something like that. You know, all of a sudden, like, it's not so cool when there's that toxic shadow side of it, right? So make sure that you're, you know, that you're being very discerning with your relationships, all right? And make sure that you're, you know, you're allowing only people, you know, who serve your higher good in, you know? And it might be time to let go of those that aren't. Okay, final message for Aquarius, sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs. Matt. Fairness. This situation will be handled in a fair and just matter. Yeah, so the universe is going to balance everything out for you guys. Don't worry. Okay, but just don't try to rush it. Don't try to micromanage Aquarius. Okay, I'm going to leave it there for you guys. I love you guys so much. Please give this video a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button. Comment and share. Ring that notification bell if that... Um, you know, if you guys want to get updates for when I upload anything new, I love you guys so much and thank you for listening.